Good afternoon and welcome to the 29th annual exhibit of hydrogen fuel cell technology. We go into the details here at the Technical Forum and uh, we always, ha always have interesting conversations uh, and discussions after uh, presentations. We're going to be talking about the future of compression with screw compressors and it is Jan German who is application and technology and product management at Ertzen. Welcome Jan. Yes. Hi, good afternoon. Yes. Okay. Welcome to ANOFA uh, once again. My name is Jan German. I work at Ertzen as a product manager for process gas compressors. And I will continue with some groundbreaking news in the evolution of hydrogen compressors that should really make a difference. Of course, we all know about urgency and time to act in terms of deca uh, decarbonization targets. It is now up to all of us equipment suppliers for H2, like we are, to really contribute in game-changing technology that enable both significant improvements for efficiency and footprint. Key question to break down into measurable results of product development is how do we achieve these targets and how can we rethink our tomorrow's solutions in a market ramp up already today? Sustainable CO2 reduction means replacement of fossil energies by renewables and of course the energy storage solutions. Therefore, it also means efficient handling of all utilities involved. The essential role of clean hydrogen has been evaluated by all relevant institutions and experts during the last years, and it became clear that uh, converting green electricity into gas molecules, at least up to a certain extent, is absolutely necessary. Um, gas molecules enable flexible sector coupling by using existing infrastructure and proven technology. To underline the impact of green hydrogen to industrial usage, we need to consider today's ratio of electrolysis. <laughs> um, you know, the, um, the sources from fossil fuels still summarize a 96% as sources for hydrogen, but this tiny share of electrolysis is about to rise. It has started to rise, and that's good news for all of us. Our so-called no-regret um, in industries or applications, iron and steel, petrochemical, um, oil and gas, um, will benefit twice by green hydrogen, by um, reduced CO2 costs for certificates and um, green certifications for products. So especially these consumers will further drive demand for green hydrogen and hydrogen-based derivatives as ammonia, for example. But uh, where are we now when it comes to hydrogen um, production and especially hydrogen compression? You might know that electricity consumption uh, counts for up to 80% of an electrolyzer's total cost of ownership. Um, including the so-called balance of plants, which includes all the auxiliary equipments and the compressors. So it's especially in the face of non-competitive hydrogen prices from six to eight euros a kilogram, um, it is understood that compressing expensive gas is supposed to be done in the best way possible, means no compromise on efficiency, footprint, and total cost of ownership. <clears throat> Some of you might know that uh, compressing light gases and especially hydrogen um, is a tricky task to do. And uh, you know, some or many positive displacement machines did not satisfy operators or maintenance staff in the past. In our today's context of uh, market ramp up of electrolysis, we see a lot of projects, um, an increasing number and an increasing power input for those electrolyzers. We see high differential pressures to, it, to be achieved uh, in a big variety of industrial 
end users and um, applications, like uh, Ms. Schilling, for example, ex explained. Plus, the requirement of 100% uh, oil-free compression um, yeah, to ensure highest product purity in all these applications like fuel cells, food industry, storage, and so on. Did you know screw compressors have proven their ability in compressing hydrogen in many industrial applications for decades and years? You know, um, the compact um, design of screws enables small footprints and the absence of free mass forces makes screws working highly reliable on low pulsation levels. Um, but most important in this context, um, the operating window in terms of volume flows, uh, pressure rise, and um, partial operation dynamics absolutely fit large electrolyzers, state of the art, PEM, SOEC. Um, especially those working at low pressure, at atmospheric pressure. <clears throat> the key challenge for screws to overcome in light gas applications has always been managing the efficiency losses caused by internal backflow, those tiny internal gaps. So the management of internal clearances, temperatures, and partial load operation is a tricky interaction to optimize. Machines and materials simply uh, become too hot uh, with increasing backflow and are therefore limited in uh, further pressure rise and turn down. But now, Erzen provides a real game changer in oil-free compression. The new screw compressor type VRW ready to overcome yesterday's restriction in hydrogen compression. A new generation of oil-free screws ready and designed to perform right after the electrolyzer. In fact, from our point of view, the VRW acts as the perfect booster for further downstream compressors as recips, as diaphragms, as high, high, high um, piston compressors. To follow electrolyzer's operation dynamics, the VRW is fully flexible on start, stop, and turn down capability by speed control. It handles the wet hydrogen stream without any pre-cooling or pre-drying, a big benefit. Um, the new concept provides um, next level water injection into the 100% oil-free conveying chamber to um, really push the internal gap sealing management to a new level. The result is a groundbreaking differential pressure at excellent efficiencies for all free screws. Um, as a comparison, um, we would have needed two oil free screws from a conventional design to achieve the same pressure rise in oil free compression. The same water being injected into the machine for cooling and uh, clearance management is also used in the water purged mechanical seals. We keep it completely oil-free and free of any impurities. Um, the uh, mechanical seals enabling both oil-free compression and untouched product purity. So um, we keep it oil-free. The already established speed adjustment uh, by VFD of, uh, uh, in combination with roller bearings and screws um, maximize the, the large control range following the electrolyzer from 100% load maybe down to 20 or so. Um, so ready to follow even state-of-the-art PEM or SOEC uh, operation dynamics. Plus, stainless steel materials of the hydrogen-touched parts uh, ensure persistence for, uh, example, PEM's low-conductivity water output, which is quite corrosive, but we want to supply a machine uh, being in operation for 20 years, not four or five years or so. Yes. Our first size, 536, um, was designed to compress 6,000 cubic meter an hour, which equals to a 30 megawatt electrolyzer working atmospherically um, at approximately 1.1 to 1.3 bar. The output pressure of this single stage reaches at 10 bar apps at the battery limits for the very first time with oil-free screws. 
We have been limited in the past to 4.5, 5 bars in one stage, but now we make a difference up to 10 bar apps. Once again, two displacement machines were necessary to achieve the same pressure rise, same pressure ratio in the past. So our customers benefit from reduced complexity, reduced footprint, less compressor stages in oil-free compression. Plus, larger machines are already planned in the um, variety of the established Erzen product portfolio. Compressing up to 40,000 cubic meter an hour maximum in one single stage of oil-free technology. So as a solution provider of uh, green hydrogen, of four green hydrogen, we designed a scalable packaged unit showing that uh, water supply, water separation, lubrication oil, compressor and drivetrain result in a package not bigger than the eight multiplied three meters in total footprint. What you see here is the smartest way, we strongly believe, to, and the most economical way to compress large hydrogen flows from low pressure up to 10 bar apps right after the electrolyzer. So that, that's it for the moment. Thank you very much for your attention. So you are welcome at our booth, D4054. 54. Um, yes, let's talk. Erzen makes a difference. I'm looking forward to all your questions and your visits. Thank you. So we do have time for one question from the audience, <laughs> if there is a question. Are there any questions? Yes, please. Please. So, I, just quickly about the, you say stainless steel that will last for 20 years exposed to hydrogen. Which one is it? Uh, which, which kind of stainless steel do you use? <laughs> that's, a, that's a question I would love to answer in a, in a deeper discussion for four eyes. So um, mm -hmm. I, I can tell you that our established um, uh, steel qualities um, um, uh, don't, uh, are not confronted with any issues due to the fact that it's a wet hydrogen in a low pressure range. Um, we have uh, compressed hydrogen for many, many years, for decades, in similar applications, um, right after chlorine uh, electrolysis, for example. Um, so um, for the persistence or for any uh, embrittlement issues or so, we feel very safe even for long-term operations. You will never see a wear or an embrittlement of the hydrogen-touched parts, I guarantee that, in stainless steel. Uh, 54. So obviously most of the questions are really uh, booth questions because you're going to go into detail. The booth is D54. Yes. Okay, uh, do visit Jan, uh, Jan German there. He's from Erzsen and uh, screw compressors, obviously uh, a new idea in this field or a technology that has been specifically re retooled for it, this it, field. It took uh, a few discussions to position them again, but uh, originally the operating window uh, still fits the electrolysis. Yeah. I, I, actually, I, <laughs> I can't resist. Uh, just the laws of physics suggest that pistons, you know, every action creates an equal and opposite reaction. Newtonian physics, pistons waste energy because you're constantly changing directions. I assume that there is some benefit of this uh, circular motion as opposed to pistons. That may not be the only benefit, though, I'm sure. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there is uh, enough room for pistons and for screws, and um, the perfect configuration of hydrogen compressors up to hundreds of bar will always be a technology mix from my point of view, and it's about finding the right compressors for a specific end pressure, starting from a certain input pressure. Okay. The, for it's the rest not of like the black or white. Yeah, exactly. Yes. It's not black or white. Yeah. For the rest of the details, visit booth D54 and Jan German von Erzen. 